This is problem number four from section 1.3. And this problem it says the value of cosine x is given. Find sine x and tan x if x lies in the specified interval. They give you that cosine x is one over seven. So cosine x is positive. And they say that x is going to lie between negative pi over two and zero. Well, negative pi over two, if we look at the unit circle, negative pi over two, <clears throat> is down here, the zero's here, so we're lying in the fourth quadrant. So let's draw a triangle in the fourth quadrant. We'd have a triangle that looked like so, and this would be our angle, x. They say cosine is one over seven, we know cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So that's what we have here, is the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. We'll call this A, B and C, we need to find the B side so we can find sine x and tan x. So we gotta use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So one squared plus B squared equals seven squared. So we end up with one plus B squared equals 49. Subtract the 49, we end up with B squared equals 48. We're going to do the square root, so we end up with b equals root 48. Now I think they're going to want us to have exact answers for this, so we don't want to put in root 48 and get a decimal. We want to take root 48 and we want to break 48 down and take out and reduce the square root essentially, take out what we can from the square root. So let's just break this down to Oh, six and eight. So this breaks down to two and three and four and two. So if I took two times two times four times three, I end up with 48. So I have actually two fours in there. So I could say that 48 really breaks down to, uh, let's see, 16 and three. Right, because two times two is four, times four is 16, so 16 and three is what 48 is. That makes it easy to write this as root three times root 16, which is, well, root of 16 is four, so I end up with four root three. So this part B is four root three, or part B, the side B. So then I can say that sine X, I know is the opposite over hypotenuse, opposite side being B, which is four root three, over hypotenuse, which is seven. So that's one solution right there. Doesn't reduce anymore because of four and seven. Tan X then is the opposite over the adjacent, opposite, which is four root three over one. Well, four root three over one is just gonna be four root three. And those are the two solutions for this problem. I made one slight mistake that I just caught. Uh, this, because we're in quadrant, we're in quadrant uh, four, I screwed up a little bit. This is not gonna be four root three because we're down here. This is actually gonna be negative four root three. So I'm gonna write that as negative four root three here. Now because this is negative four root three, this is actually negative and this is negative. So our solutions are negative four root three over seven and negative four root three.